body movements. Class 6, Science By the end of this session, you will be understand about Movement in animals Movement in human beings And, joints, and, movements Animals show movement in many ways the body structure of an animal directly corresponds to the way in which it moves. Let us learn about movement in different animals, including human beings. The body structure of an animal determines the kind of movement it exhibits. Based on the presence or absence of the backbone, vertebral column, animals are divided into two groups. Vertebrates and invertebrates. Animals that have a backbone are called vertebrates. For example, fish, frog, lizard, horse, and birds. Animals that do not have a backbone are called invertebrates. For example, earthworm, snail, and cockroach. Movement in earthworm An earthworm is an invertebrate. It has a long, tube-like body, with no bones. Its body is maintained by the fluid present inside its body. An earthworm's body is made up of several parts, called segments. It moves by lengthening and shortening these segments. Its body secrets a slimy substance, to help in the movement. The segment also have tiny, hair-like bristles, that help the earthworm to grip the surface, and pull its body forward. Movement in snail Like an earthworm, a snail too has a liquid skeleton. Snails have a shell, inside which, they can hide, to protect themselves from the heat of the sun, and enemies. The shell is the outer skeleton, but it is not made of bones. They also have a pair of tentacles, that bear rise at the tips. Snails move by using a muscular organ called, the foot. The foot produces a slimy substance called, mucus on which, the snail actually crawls. The sticky mucus reduces the friction between the foot, and the ground. A cockroach's body is covered with a hard outer skeleton. Cockroaches have pair of antennae, that help them smell things. They also have a pair of cerci, that can detect the slightest of movements, and warn them of any danger from behind. Though cockroaches have two pairs of wings, they can only fly short distances. However, they are able to turn, and climb very fast. Like all insects, cockroaches have three pairs of legs. Movement in fish Fish are vertebrates. All vertebrates have an internal skeleton, made up of bones. A tough, elastic substance called, cartilage, or both. Most fish have a streamlined body. The head and the tail are narrow. The middle portion of the body is broader. The kind of shape offers the least resistance to the flow of water, and makes it easier for them to swim through water. Fish have fins, and a flexible backbone, which help them to swim. Most fish have a special structure called, a swim bladder, that can be filled with air, or emptied to help them move up, and down in the water. Movement in birds Most birds are capable of flying. Birds can also walk, run, or hop on the ground. Birds such as swan and duck can even swim in water. The features that help birds to fly are Birds have streamlined bodies that make it easier for them to move through air. Their bones are hollow that make them lightweight. They have wings that help them to fly. They have powerful chest muscles, that help them flap their wings during flight. 
movement in snakes. Snakes do not have limbs. They move by crawling on their bellies. They have scales that cover their bodies and help them to crawl. Most snakes move in a wave-like manner. Their flexible backbones help them in this movement. Movement in human being The skeletal system, along with the muscular system, helps in movement in human beings. The human skeleton is made up of 206 bones. The functions it performs are it helps in the movement of various body parts. It provides shape and support to the body. It protects the soft internal organs. Bones are filled with a substance called marrow that produces the blood cells. The skull protects the brain from injury. All bones in the skull are fixed except the lower jaw. The lower jaw can move, which allows us to talk and chew food. The rib cage provides protection to the heart and lungs. Human beings have 12 pairs of ribs. You can feel your ribs by running your fingers across your chest. The backbone is made up of 33 small bones, called vertebrae. It surrounds and protects the spinal cord. We have two pairs of limbs. The hind limbs, legs, are used for walking. The forelimbs, arms, allow us to do variety of tasks, such as lifting and using objects. Bones are rigid structures that cannot bend. Then how do we bend elbows and knees? All our movements are brought about by joints and muscles. Joints are places where two or more bones meet. The bones are held together at the joint by the ligament. Fixed or immovable joints, like those of the skull, provide protection. Slightly movable joints provide support. Freely movable joints are the ones that allow us to perform a variety of movements. The four major movable joints in our body are the ball and socket joint, pivot joint, hinge joint, and gliding joint. In ball and socket type of joint, the ball-like surface of one bone fits into a cup-like hollow in the other. A ball and socket joint allows maximus movement in all directions. Example, joints at the hip and shoulder. In pivot joint, the rounded surface of one bone fits into a ring formed by the other such that one bone is able to rotate over the other. Example, joint where the neck joins the head. Hinge joint. This kind of joint provides back and forth movement similar to the hinges of a door. Example, joints at the knee and the elbow. Gliding joint allows bones to glide over each other, providing little movement in all directions. Example, joints at the ankle and the wrist. Muscles bring about movement by contracting and relaxing. One end of a muscle is attached to a movable bone whereas the other end is attached to a fixed bone. When the muscle contracts, it pulls the movable bone. The end of the bones are covered with a tough, elastic tissue called cartilage. Cartilage makes the ends of the bones smooth and reduces friction between the bones during movement. Cartilage is also present in various other parts of our body, like nose and ear. X-ray Sometimes, when we get hurt, doctors take an X-ray photograph of the injured part to find out if there is any fracture in the bones 